Today I'm going to wear three different kinds of shoes while riding my bike to see which one is worth it at its given price point. Today's contenders. My old pair of Nike Kill Shots, the official shoe of depressed guys who work in tech. The Physique Tempo Overcurve R4, a mid-level shoe with a hybrid nylon carbon injected sole. I've been wearing these for the last two years. These are my brand new Physique Vento Power Strap R2 Aero Weeds. A pro level shoe with a full carbon sole. I bought these shoes in a desperate attempt to finally break 1200 watts. Will it work or did I waste my money? In this video, you'll notice I'm wearing the exact same pair of socks with each different pair of shoes. That's because this video is sponsored by Bombas. Bombas makes high quality shirts, underwear, socks, and slippers. My personal favorite are the performance compression socks. Those are the bright colorful socks you may have noticed me wearing in other videos. They're great for recovery. So you can imagine how excited I was when I discovered they now sell cycling socks. The best part is with every item you purchase, Bombas donates an item. Socks, underwear, shirts are the three most requested items at homeless shelters. And those just so happen to be the exact items Bombas donates. Shopping, is super easy. In fact, I need some new cycling socks, so if you hold on just like one second here. When you get to checkout, make sure to use code MITCH20 to get 20% off your first order. That's code MITCH20. Thank you, Bombas, for sponsoring this video. Now, I'm gonna complete my order and turn off the screen share so you don't see my credit card information. I'm gonna rate the shoes based on four criteria. Price, comfort, functionality, and most importantly of all, power. Because as an average cyclist who does not race at all, like I don't, I barely do group rides. I know the most important thing about any purchase is will it make me faster? So let's jump on the bike and find out. The test I've devised is very simple. Each pair of shoes will get two sprints. We'll take the average of the sprints and compare them to see which shoe helps produce the most power. The kill shots produced a max power of 848 watts on the first sprint. The second was a bit higher, 884 watts. I expected a jump in power between the sneakers and the proper cycling shoes, but the results surprised me. The average max power of the two sprints with the mid-level shoes was 1,122 watts, a gigantic 256 watt increase. Now I'm sure you're excited to learn how the pro-level shoes performed. I know I was. But in order to understand the final result, we need to talk about the other criteria first. Price, comfort, function, power. Each category will have only one winner. Let's get started. Price. This one's easy. Obviously, the Nike Kill Shots win at 79 US dollars. The mid-range shoe, 149 USD. The pro-level shoe, a whopping 359 USD. Comfort. Now, you'd think the sneakers would win this category too. They are the most comfortable to walk in, but on the bike, they slip and slide all over the place. Trying to sprint in these things was a nightmare. Ooh. Slipping and sliding. <sighs> They're out of the running for this one. So which of the road cycling shoes are most comfortable? That was a tougher question. Honestly, they're both comfortable, but I have to give it to the pro level shoe. Having two points of adjustability instead of one makes a big difference in how the shoe conforms to your foot. Quick disclaimer before you run out and buy these though. I have narrow feet. Physiques have always fit me well, but they're not for everyone. Try them out before you buy them. Okay. Functionality. This could be controversial because it really depends on how you describe functionality. If you're looking at versatility or convenience, then the sneakers are the clear winner. However, if you're looking at how well they function while biking, then you have to give it to the mid-level shoe. The pro level fails for one simple reason. You see my socks? While that looks cool, it'd be a nightmare in the rain. So you can really only use these in good weather or indoors. For that reason, the mid-level shoe wins. Which means, overall, we have a three-way tie. The pro-level shoes have a stiffer sole made out of carbon, which is supposed to help you transfer more power to the pedals. Let's see if that's true. As a reminder, the average max power for the mid-level shoes was 1,122 watts. Sprint one, 1,119 watts. Uh-oh, <laughs> it's not looking good for the pro-level shoe, 
But I do have to say this, that sprint was more powerful than the first of the mid-level sprints, but it is below the average of the two. That means the second sprint is gonna have to be much more powerful to justify the $210 price increase over the mid-level shoe. And to help me justify it, please subscribe and hit that like button. Okay, remember what I said at the beginning of the video? I bought these shoes in a desperate attempt Finally break 1200 watts. I have been trying to break 1200 watts for months. I then brought these pro level shoes on a ride last week, but my fitness was not great because I had been off the bike for weeks because of my honeymoon and coming home and all that. I know it's an excuse. Look, I tried to ride as hard as I could, but the most I could get out of it was 1086 watts. And I also got the return of the meal I had before the ride. There's a lot riding on this sprint. I'm gonna get a little nervous. This is it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's any faster. We'll see what the power data says. The carbon soles did feel a lot stiffer, but I wasn't sure if that had translated into more power. Honestly, the efforts felt pretty similar, so I wasn't expecting much. And then I crossed the finish line. I've never broken 1200 watts before. <laughs> With a final max power of 1219 watts, a new personal record, the average for the pro level shoe was 1069 watts, 47 watts above the mid-level shoe. So, which shoe is most worth it at its given price point? I think the answer is obvious. The mid-level shoe. Just by upgrading from sneakers to a mid-level shoe, I got an extra 256 watts out of my sprint. That is incredible. Unless you're racing, there's no real reason to have the pro-level shoes. And yet, I'm keeping them. Thank you for watching, and thank you again to Bombas for sponsoring this video. Use code MITCH20 at checkout for 20% off.